Hey, what's up everyone? Hey, this is your boy Big Red, Big Red's Outdoor Adventures. Hey, I figured this afternoon I'm gonna tie up a couple jigs and uh, I've already got one tied. This is called the June Bug right there. And uh, I've got another jig head painted up. Got some neck hackle. We got to cut up and we're gonna have some flash in there and tire chanel and stuff. And I wanted to bring you guys along with me. Uh, I'm very, I'm very excited how the last video turned out, man. The, uh, the love and the support I'm seeing from you guys, the channel that's growing. Uh, thank y'all so much. And, um, but Hey, enough talking, let's get started. But anyway, <clears throat> this is going to be the paint that I'm using tonight. This is uh purple haze right here, man. You're talking about a beautiful color. And that's another one from TJ's tackle right there. Then I will be using Crazy Angler's Neck Hackle right there. That's exactly what I'm using. Uh, then, let's see. I use another Crazy Angler product. That is the Chanel that I'm using right there. And uh, that is the beauty of it right there. It is very, very beautiful purple color. And, of course, I'm using 210 Denier. Uh, from a crazy angler right there. Of course, I'll list everything in, in the bottom of the description below. So, uh, so it's going to be pretty much a simple little video. Hope I don't, uh, mess up in it, but this is a, uh, go free tackle one eighth ounce jig head with a number six hook on there right there. So, all right, let's get started. And those that uh, that's asked, this is a peak rotary device, uh, vice, not device, vice. And um, of course it spins and all that. So it makes it wrapping the Chanel a whole lot easier. But hey, to get started in the jig time world, you don't have to go out and spend 160 bucks on a vice. You can go buy you the little kit uh, from uh, Cabela's Bass Pro Shop to get started in it. Um, I'm just one of those, I hate spending money over and over and uh, on on products when I can just buy it once. And that's what I did with this Pete Rotary. I did a lot of YouTube searching up and and uh, decided to go this route. This is the one that had the most hype. Not saying it's the best, but uh, I'm, I'm very happy with the choice that I made for purchasing it. But uh, you saw where I had a little bit of Gorilla Glue right there for my base to hold this thread. I said, I make me a few passes through there. Right there. All right. Then in my last video on this one, I'll show you how I do it. Uh, this has been a smaller hood. This is, like I said, this is a number six. So it's the last ones I've been tying is uh, number number twos. And so they're a whole lot longer. A lot bigger hook, but let's get a little measurement right there. It's kind of where I want to be. And I'm going to use uh, two feathers, two neck hackles for this one right here. Kind of give it a little bit fluffier tail. And of course, go through here and knock out some V's. If I can get in there, right there. And that one I showed you at the beginning, the one I just tied, what I did is I used, I used four V's. And I don't know all the fancy words for, for everything I'm cutting here, but yeah, I'm just, like I said, I'm just a beginner and uh, I'm enjoying it and wanted to bring you guys along with it. But I need to tie, I need to get one more V out of this so I can have four. All right. Let's stack our Vs. So, what I'm doing is I'm, uh, 
I, I like doing two V's right here. And then my little tail feather. These little neck hackle are hard to grab a hold of. Right there. Stack it. Grab my other tail feather. Stack it. And then grab my other two V's. Right there. Like I said, trying to grab all these feathers can be a pain in the butt. Trying to stack them because they're so little. And all you want to do is you just want to get them grouped up like that right there. Like I said, I don't tie professionally. This is just a hobby for me. And uh, I'm enjoying it. And that's how I want to continue is just enjoy it. I don't want to make a job out of it. I know my uh, that video I just posted, uh, I've had a few ask if I could tie some jigs for them, and uh, I'm just going to stick with doing it for fun. But anyway, just group them up, get them nice and stacked, put them on here, find where you want them. About right there is where I want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit off. And like I said, you want to make that first few wraps right here, make them real, just barely put some pressure on there because we want to stack these feathers right here and get them exactly where you want. Right there. I like that. guys you see that now I'm gonna go ahead and start adding some pressure to it give me a little base going right there all right that's locked in that ain't going nowhere so now let's add us some pretty bling this flash right here that I'm using that came from Gulf Tree Tackle Cut it to spec, and I cut it right there on the very end of that tip of those tail feathers. that pretty jig sir i love this color right here this this color combination i hope these videos get you kind of excited i hope uh, any of that you brand new that's wanting to get in a jig time i hope this kind of motivates you like i said it doesn't uh some of the stuff you can buy from hobby lobby or uh, you can get a crazy angler barlow tackle uh you can look up um, a Nimrod tackle on uh, eBay. That's a good little place to get you some stuff, some supplies right there. We're going to lock this in. Right there. I have me a little bit of Gorilla Glue right there with a the brush. Doesn't take much, just enough to get on there and we're gonna lock her in. Right 
there, I like that. Just keep holding that pressure on there. You don't want to let it, uh, you don't want to give it no slack. I ain't letting too much thread out of my bobbin. But I get a few wraps right there. Twist around. There you go. Take your scissors, cut your Chanel right there. All right. Add a little bit of super glue right here, this Gorilla Glue right here to our thread. Right there. Now time for the whip finish. My not so favorite thing to do. As y'all can tell, I'm still new at it. five right there let's try to get us another five to lock this lock it in and like i said guys especially even i just uh, that first jig i just tied of this color right here be careful on that eye right there you'll get that sucker hung every time if you ain't paying attention but anyway Got me a set of 10 right there. Cut it. And then I like to use Sally's Hard as Nails to paint the jig head and kind of make it bling bling. And also I put it on that thread. Boy, you talking about make a jig shine when you add this right here. I wonder why them girls love putting this stuff on their fingernails. Ah. But anyway, guys, hey, look at there. Got us another jig tied up. Put it in that box. I can't, read, can't wait to go fishing with it. So, hey, guys, I appreciate y'all watching and, uh, and the love and support I'm seeing from you guys on the channel. Uh, I can't wait to bring more content. Hopefully... Be getting back on the water soon, as y'all saw, where Texas has got hammered with snow. Man, I'm glad to see that crap gone. I hate snow. I'm not a fan of it. I mean, we could even done some ice fishing. We had areas where uh, three to four inches of uh, of ice on our lake that I fish that you guys see on the videos that I'm tearing big crappie out of. There are certain parts of that lake there was three or four inches of ice. So I'm glad to see that stuff go. I'm ready to get back on the water. I'm ready to catch me some crappies. And I uh, want to bring you guys along, as always. But, hey, thanks for tuning in. Can't wait to see you on the next episode of Big Reds Outdoors Adventures. Y'all have a blessed night, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.